everyone, it's Melissa here with Family Minimalism. I'm back to try another video with uh, my webcam. So I'm not used to looking at the camera or filming myself, so please bear with me if I'm not always looking straight at the camera. I'm trying to get used to this. So a lot of people have asked me over the months to do a video about paper and filing and, and do I keep paper ideas of what to do with things that you need to file. Okay, so this is my filing cabinet now. It is just a banker's bag that you can get on Amazon for about $5. And everything that I need to file, everything that I need to keep paper-wise fits in this little bag. So I've gone completely digital, um, except for the things that I do need to keep which are in here, and I'll go through what I do keep in there in a minute. So the first thing you need to do is go through your filing cabinet and pull out everything that you can possibly throw away. Um, make two piles, things that you can trash, shred, whatever, and a pile of things that you do need to keep, but things that you could digitize, and then a pile of things that you do need the original copy of, like birth certificates, passports, marriage license things like that, that you absolutely have to have the physical thing. The things that you can digitize, um, maybe you're not sure if you will need them at one point, but just in case, you things that you could print out a copy of if you needed it, or if you needed to email it to somebody. Um, anything that, uh, that a printout copy would be fine if you needed to reference it. Um, and what I did, and here is my phone, I will show you the app that I used on my phone. Um, I do have a little scanner now, a little photo scanner, but before I had a scanner, I used, let's see, this right here, ooh, right there, tiny scan, or tiny scanner, tiny scanner, right there, okay. So, I don't know that I can actually show you what's on here, um, but, what it does is you just, it's so easy to use. There are a lot of scanner apps, but I like this tiny scanner. My husband uses something different. So you just take a picture of what you want to scan and it finds the edges for you and you can crop it. You can add more than one page at a time. You can have, scan a 50 page document and it all um, go together into one PDF. So it works great. That's what I use to digitize everything. You could also use a small scanner, um, but that might make it into a photo format. I'm not sure, but I like the tiny scanner because it puts everything into a PDF. And then as soon as you scan it, you can back it up to Dropbox or Google Drive or several other options of places that you can send those files to. You name them back them up to somewhere else. It also keeps a copy of it on on the app on your phone and it'll back up to iCloud or if you're on Android devices, I'm not familiar with Android, um, but on, on iOS it backs all that up to iCloud as well and then um, just back it up to uh, another service like Dropbox or, or Google Drive. Okay, so once you've got everything scanned and that I mean that does take a while I mean it depends on how long I had a pile of papers probably I don't know that thick or so I just I didn't organize anything just anything that I wanted to scan I just put in a pile um, so that took me I don't know several days to a week just whenever I had time to go through and start scanning things and then everything that I did need to keep ended up fitting in this little bag so let me kind of go through this a little bit and show you what I can of what I do keep in here. Um, so birth certificates would be one. I've got an envelope of credit cards that we're not using right now. Uh, let's see, I have an envelope of everybody's birth certificates in an envelope. I've got everybody's passports. Marriage license. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> uh, something for like selective service for my son. Let's see. 
receipts or warranties that you do need. This is the warranty to our wedding rings and the information for our wedding rings. Um, and there's a couple other warranties in here, say a furniture warranty for a chair that we have. Anything that you would need the actual receipt or warranty for, that's all in an envelope. Uh, paint samples. I've kept the little uh, paint chip things for, and I wrote on them what uh, colors are on our house. So, uh, so I have those. Let's see, like vehicle uh, registrations, everybody's so security cards. More vehicle registrations. Some more paint. Put that with the other one. The general warranty deed to our house. Another car registration. Uh, vaccine records, if you have them. Uh, and that's it what I have in this bag. So that is all the paper that I need to keep. So whenever I get something new that comes into the house, I pin it up on my bulletin board in my office. If it's something that I need to scan or take care of, like I scan all of my husband's paycheck stubs. So when he gets a new one in, I just pin it up on the board till I scan it and then I back it up and throw it away. So once you're caught up and everything's scanned and everything's saved, then just as soon as a new piece of paper comes into your house that you need to save, first decide if you need to save it and trash it if you don't. And then if you do need to save it, just put it somewhere where you can deal with it right away. Get it scanned. It only takes a second to scan each new thing, save it, and you're done. So that is my little video about filing and how I organize papers. Now, since I don't have a lot in here, I mean, this isn't like organized or anything. I mean, all the passports are together, all the credit cards are together, things are in envelopes or whatnot, um, but there's not very much in here, so, so I don't need a great system for organizing this. Um, so if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please um, send me questions. If there's anything that I didn't talk about or any issues that you guys have with paper or filing that I didn't cover, please let me know and I can make another video. And thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.